Hi, James Galloway again. Um, I, I wanted to share my um, what I consider my second awakening briefly, and how um, it was kind of led by fear. It wasn't that wasn't the best of experiences at the time, but I realise now, having gone through it, um, what it was all about. Um, you've probably, I, I would imagine, some of you relate to this because um, I was heavily um, obsessed with what was going on in the world. Um, my world views of all the negative um, things taking place um, and my understanding of it at the time was frightening um, and it scared me and I was looking, I was researching all kinds of things. Um, I do now, looking back, take the positives out of it and, and what I've learned and it was I was meant to learn, I was meant to go through it, I was meant to face it and deal with it and, and learn from, from feelings. Um, it's all part of what's led me to where I am now. Uh, it's, it's understanding um, that what takes place within the 3D world, the third dimension, as it were, um, is it's lower level vibrations. Everything's a vibration, so it's lower level vibrations. Um, and, and when you surround yourself within these lower level vibrations, this is where you will sit. This is, the, this is where you would attune yourself and align yourself. So more of the same will come to you. Um, I had to learn that I had to raise my own level of vibrations and awareness to the point of where I wasn't going to be surrounded by this kind of information anymore and to raise my awareness so that I could ascend further up um, what I consider the dimensions, um, fourth dimension, fifth dimension. Um, I believe in this experience we're all meant to learn to raise our, our level of awareness and um, part of part of doing that is to be exposed to the to the lower dimensional experiences um, and feelings. You could um, you you got different feelings that take place for, up, um, up throughout the dimension. Sorry. So in the three D world, it's a very low feeling. Uh, it's a very low vibration. Um, negative things operate within this dimension, within the lower dimensions. Uh, and so my second awakening, I say second, I do have an experience before then that I will share another time, but this one in particular was me being exposed to lots of negativity in the world and what was taking place, and I felt a bit trapped. Um, I easily got upset. I know it was upsetting for my wife um, and my family around me because I was acting different, acting strange, confused, frightened, talking, all kinds of what... I would consider, um, looking back now, um, I, was, I was reacting instantly to the negative vibration around me and so therefore how I was acting and how I was being was very negative. Um, so, but I had to go through it and that is what I would consider uh, probably my second biggest awakening. It lasted me for months and I was going through these feelings for months um, until I've... Um, since then, I've, I've learned, uh, you know, how things work and how the different dimensions react um, in, the, in the loop that we're caught in as, as souls going through and through this lifetime over and over. Um, again, I will go, go into that into more detail. One thing I think I got from the, from the second awakening, what I just mentioned about with all the negative stuff going on around the world with... Uh, Governments, you've probably seen it yourself. Governments, different conspiracies and stuff. Doesn't mean they don't exist. They do exist within that, within that area, within that three D realm, within those vibrations. It does exist, but we don't have to exist within it. You can raise your own vibrations. You can raise yourself up into the fifth dimension, and you live within that, the fifth and third dimension, all the time. Um, again, I'll look at that. You know, more so in the future. So I suppose what I wanted to do really was to share the fact that you know. Not all awakenings are, uh, are positive at the time and they can be quite frightening and you can be quite worried um, and then you can react to them. But there's always a way forward and I believe that we have these experiences to show us that way forward. I needed to clean that out of my system. I needed to deal with it. I needed to um, experience it. I needed to feel it. Um, I had to grow strong and I, I, I had to... It helped give me direction of, of where I was meant to be going. Um, so now I appreciate it. At the time it wasn't very pleasant, but but now I appreciate it. Um, I do, I, I have 
<coughs> I'll, I'll do another video on my uh, probably my first awakening and then I'll go into a bit more detail on another one that I've just had recently all of which have led me from um, a kind of a negative teenage years um, into something I can only now s explain as being completely enlightened um, I think there's a continual journey there's never there's never an end destination and I think if you're always looking for that end destination you're always going to be wanting I believe you embrace the journey and it's one big journey and you, you learn to embrace that journey um, and, and learn everything you can along the way that's the whole purpose um, thanks ever so much. I'm going to leave it there for now. I will uh, cover some more um, awakenings, I think. That's why I'd like to start with these videos anyway. I've got loads more to share after that. Um, but this is where I kind of want to start and, and give you a little bit about my background as we move forward. Um, then hopefully you find something in the videos uh, that I'm putting up. Okay, thank you ever so much.